Hi, my name is Lena and I'm Pearls Knitting. Today I will teach you German twisted cast on and how to seamlessly join it in the round. Like that. Perfect, right? So, what is German twisted cast on? It has many names. It's called twisted German cast on, it's called twisted cast on, elastic long tail cast on, elastic cast on, old Norwegian cast on, old Norwegian sock cast on, English cast on, twisted half hitch cast on, twisted long cast on, a uh, twisted loop cast on. There's so many, so many names. Um, this cast on is very elastic, but it's very firm at the same time. It's very good for socks, um, any edge, any corrugated ribbing, because it prevents that edge from curling. So this is actually my favorite cast on, and I use it um, a lot. And today I will show you how to seamlessly join it in a round, just like that. For this cast on, you will need a circular needle. I'm using Chegu Shorties, uh, the blue set. You will need your favorite um, beginning of the round stitch marker and a length of yarn. Leave enough tail uh, to cast on necessary amount of stitches and follow your pattern. But always know that you will have to add one additional stitch until unless it's instructed by the pattern. And very rarely pattern tells you to do so. This is a specific method to join it seamlessly in a round. So remember to cast on one additional stitch for that. I never start with a slip knot ever. So um, what I will do is start by wrapping yarn around the needle. Let's position the yarn properly in your left hand. So what you do is, this is the tail, this is the working yarn. Insert, um, and this is enough length to cast on whatever amount of stitches that I need to cast on. Um, so fold it in half. Insert your index finger and your thumb between that strand, wrapping the working yarn around the index finger and the tail around your thumb, like that. And hold the tails or the ends with uh, the rest of your fingers like this so first thing first let's start by wrapping creating the first stitch and we just wrap it um, by inserting the needle from the left to the right under the yarn and wrapping it around the needle like that so this is the first stitch the second stitch and let's just start with the cast on um, we need to insert the needle just bring the needle under both strands of the thumb and then bring the needle up and over the back strand into the loop like this. Bring it towards the index finger and bring the um, the needle behind the 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 strand on the index finger and into the loop and bring it upward and releasing the yarn. This is the second stitch. Let's repeat the process. So bring the needle under both strands on the thumb, bring the needle into the loop, grab the yarn from the index finger and bring it into the loop like that let's do it again so under both strands take it into the loop through the back grab the yarn from the index finger and you have to bring it through this loop like this if that will be easier to see and understand let's Keep repeating the same thing. So under both strands, wrap it, bring it into the loop, the needle, grab the working yarn and just bring it to the front. Release the yarn from the thumb, readjust if you must, and then again under Bring the needle into the loop. Grab the yarn, working yarn, and just bring it to the front. 
release the yarn. A few more stitches and then I will show you how to join it in a round. So needle under both strands and then bring the needle into the loop. Bring the working yarn through this developed loop to the front, like that. One more. Bring the needle below both strands, bring it into the loop. Grab the working yarn and bring it through this loop. You can do it like this to the front. And now I will cast on the necessary amount of stitches and I will come back and show you how to join. I have cast, us, cast on stitches to be able to join it in a round. So this is German Twisted Cast On or any other name that you know it under. And uh, remember that we cast on one additional stitch to what is usually um, identified in the pattern. Now, what are we going to do now? Bring both ends, the working yarn and the tail of the yarn to the back of the work. Make sure your stitches are not twisted. And slip the first stitch of the right needle onto the left needle, like that. Why do we need to do that and not the other way around? The first stitch of the left needle onto the right is because the direction of the stitches is leaning to the right. So slip the second stitch on your left needle over the first. Let's do it as gracefully as we can and see it's in the right direction. That's why we're doing it this way, not the other way around. Now what we do is slip this first stitch of the left needle onto the right. And now we're going to do this. Take the tail of the yarn and bring it to the front of the work. Slip the first stitch of the right needle back onto the left needle again and bring the tail of the yarn between two needles to the back of the work. Slip the first stitch of the left needle back onto the right needle. This is our last stitch of the round. Place your stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round. And what you do now is you take that little end and you bring it over the working yarn to secure it and bring it under. Just hold it here. And now start your work, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're working a rib or just stuck in a stitch, just, just keep on working, whatever you're working. Um, I will just do two by two rib. And I will show you what it looks like when I will come back. So by wrapping that tail, we're creating that little bump right there. So see how seamlessly it looks already. And let me show you, so let me show you on this one, back to my project. You wouldn't have been able to tell where the beginning of the round is because every bump here is identical. You don't know where it's at. You only know by the beginning of the round stitch marker or by the tail. This is the tail. So this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like at the back of the work and you will be easily be able to easily just weave the ends in and you're done. There it is.